Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing God of War. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and salutations. Today we're looking at the first few minutes of God of War. Let's get to it. This God of War was released at midnight, April 20th, and this is the first impressions of it. Now, there's actually been seven other God of War titles, making this the eighth God of War in the franchise. Now, this is actually the fifth God of War on a console. There was God of War 1, 2, and 3, and then God of War Ascension on the PS3, and now this one, which is just called God of War, and I think they kind of should have had some sort of, uh, I don't know, addition to the title. God of War Axe Edition. Or God of War Old Edition. Or, you know, something. Something to differentiate it from the first God of War. Anyway. That's more of a pet peeve of mine than anything. Calling something the same thing as you did before and without changing the title even though everything is really quite different about the game so now this god of war title kratos has already been through the ringer and he is much older how much older at least 10 to 12 years Get in the boat, since boy. the last time we've seen him he's also in a different environment he's not bare-chested and wearing a little bit more than a loincloth he's wearing heavier clothing which would suggest that he is in a colder climate and of course we know this is all part of the uh, Norse mythology now even from the very beginning of the game you can tell Kratos still retains his so godlike strength. He's grabbed this whole tree trunk, which is probably, you know, 300, 500, maybe more pounds. And he's not even breaking a sweat with it. Boy. Now, I will say I am very impressed uh, with my first impressions of this game. The sound, the music, the visuals, it's all just, it comes together and forms something better than itself. And of course, this game, they wanted to have one camera view throughout the entire game. So unless you die, Did something change? the camera is going to stay on Kratos the entire time. Everything is different, boy. So I think that makes it feel a little bit more personal than it would if it changed cameras and you get to see the main uh, antagonist, the main villain of the story, and see kind of like unfold the story from that end and then come back and go back and forth. So it's a different way of storytelling, and I think it's a little bit more of a personal way, and I think it works because of the child that is with Kratos. Now, if you're watching and playing the game, you'll see that almost the, this entire time, he doesn't call him by his name, he only calls him boy. Now, in some uh, older cultures and some societies uh, back, well, way back when, uh, children weren't given names until they became full members of the tribe or full members of uh, society, partially due to the high infant and child mortality because of you know diseases and the hardships that came along with that that time frame you know forget about smartphones they had to worry about staying warm staying fed getting clean water things like that 
that was almost like it was a third world world country or something. <laughs> anyway, so as you view now it does cut over to Atreus here, which I guess is considered an extension of Kratos, so it's not really an issue. Now his wife, uh, or Atreus's mother, Kratos's wife, something happened. We don't know what it'll probably unfold as the story goes along. I can only assume. Now poor Kratos, every one that he has liked or enjoyed company with, they've all been taken away from him uh, in one way or another, either uh, circumstance or forcefully taken. Now the assumption was was that the wife died from you know, disease or, or something like that. Some circumstance where she didn't survive. We don't know. We won't know until sometime later. I assume they're going to come back around to it and see. Uh, let us know what happened since they didn't say here. Now the musical score changes with all the, the characters. So when you see one character or another one and one appears in the scene, all of a sudden it changes. When Kratos speaks, you have that low, almost gravelly voice, the sense of age and power, and you can just feel it. Really, really quite amazing. Now I chose, uh, when you start off, there are four, I believe four levels of difficulty. You know, the easy, they don't name them easy, medium, hard, or anything like that. It's, but it, that's basically what it, what it is. There's the easy mode, the hard mode, and then the two in between one, which is called balanced, and one that, uh, you know, is a challenge, they say. So you want a challenge. Now, I chose a challenge because I have, I'm a God of War veteran, so I thought I would be prepared for the combat situations, even though the challenge means that you're going to get hit harder when you get hit, you're going to have a little bit less life than if you had an easier uh, game mode. Now, I would say that the other God of War titles were more of button mashers when you get into combat, Sorry. and then there were some puzzle elements to it. Now, why would you pick up a blazing hot knife? Well, as it turns out, it was his mother's knife. It wasn't his knife. Initially, I thought possibly he had put his knife with her, Kratos carried her out, and then, oh wait, that's my knife. No, it's actually his mother's knife, but now it belongs to him. She knew. Shall we? He did, after all, just pay a price to uh, obtain it. But anyway, Kratos has lost a lot of people in his life. Anyone that he's cared about has basically been taken away um, for whatever reason. So I think that he you tries to distance himself from people that he Which does way? care about or should care you. about because okay. uh, you know emotionally he doesn't this feel way. like he wants to lose anyone else. So his son, that he calls boy most of the time, Father, I kind of get a I'm sense that now. he does so as a way to distance himself and his emotions from away mountain? from Depends on you. his son so that he isn't attached. What did you find? Tracks. Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. 
Now, graphically, this game is just... I am just blown away with the level of detail, the lighting, the uh, animation is nice and smooth. Um, I'm aware I have heard that there are some areas sometimes where it does kind of jitter and jag a little bit, but for the most part, and so far, it has been really, really nice and really good. Huh. Close. Now, of course, everyone here. wants to have 60 FPS. This one runs at 30 FPS. There are two options on the PS4 Pro where you can have yeah. the 4K experience at 30 FPS or the 1080p experience at uh, more of an uncapped frame rate. So you could potentially get 60 frames per second. But there are issues with it where it will drop even below 30 frames a second. So if you're considering it, you can go ahead and do it. And then if you decide that uh, maybe it's not as great as I thought, you can always switch that back to the 4K version. Now PS4 only has the, the 1080p at 30 frames a second. So if you don't have a pro version, then you will be kind of... Uh, stuck with one one type, but it is still very very good because I have seen the comparison between the 1080p the 4k and then the uh, 1080p uncapped version and They are all very very similar The 4k version will look a little bit crisper than the 1080p the uncapped uh, will some of the time be very smooth and buttery in its animation and then the ps4 uh, regular 1080p at 30 frames a second is still really really nice to look at so it's not like you're getting an inferior product if you only have a ps4 i mean just look at this lighting to me, it's just amazing what is possible. It is um, almost a movie-like experience, down, and I would argue that it is a movie-like experience, only here. more interactive. Not you're not just That's watching, you're, you're part of the story. Now, one thing I'll say is that the sections or levels or whatever you want to call it, the maps, are a lot less linear than they have been with other God of War titles where you would basically go from point A to point B, start at point A, have some fights, get twisted around somewhere in there, and then get to point B, and then you're done. Now, these areas are less linear. Now I know the other God of War titles, you would kind of have to do some investigating of the area to find everything that there is to find if you want all of the experience points and all the bobbles and all the stuff that you could bridge. get. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. And the other change with this version of God of War is the control scheme. Wow. Go. Now before you had a light attack with square and then heavy attack with triangle. This time around you have R1 and R2 as the light and heavy attacks. Hold. Aim with L2. Evade is with X. Is up. Jump is with Only circle. Five. So the controls are a little when bit different, and it may fire. take a little bit of time to get used to it. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. I am going be to stick better. with the default control scheme Fight. and kind of see how it plays out. And if it really just bothers me, I will Fight. change it. I'm pretty sure that it. it's possible to go back to, you know, more of the classic version of God of War, where square and triangle are 
the uh, different attacks. Now you'll notice that the uh, relationship with Kratos and Atreus is very much a you know fatherly son type of relationship, where Atreus is you know trying to spread his wings, and Kratos is like, "No, you you're not ready. You're not ready for the bow. You're not ready for battle. Let me take care of this." Now this is the first battle encounter, and this is as close to button mashing as you're going to get. Now is there some button mashing? Yes, but it is a lot more strategic than other God of War games. Uh, I kind of felt like previous titles were kind of like light attack, light attack, light attack, whap 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 whap, and then slam take them out or you stun them and then you can do a finisher on them. This one, whenever you're attacking, you have another guy that's going to attack you either from the back or the side or also from in front. And you have to kind of keep in mind where everyone's at. Now Atreus will do a call out to let you know when someone's coming up to you, uh, but it may only be half a second before you actually get attacked, so you only have a short, short window to do anything about it. So if you are, keep your kind of battle awareness about you, then you'll be able to keep track of your enemies and kind of try to keep them in front of you instead of surrounding you. I think surrounding, if the enemies are surrounding you, then you're in serious trouble. Now the first battle is the easiest battle, and you already saw that I got taken out by the Draugr. Which should indicate it should in, should have indicated to me that this was more of a strategic battle title than a button masher but I persisted because I said I am a god of war veteran I know what's going on now during battle if you can time it time your block right then you will stun the enemy and Kratos does have some sweeping attacks that will attack multiple enemies if they're close together. So getting the, the stun is going to help you out. You can kind of uh, get a couple more hits on them. There's some air juggling. Now if you do move off to the side or away from the enemy as they're getting ready to attack, they will miss their attack. But it's better to block, I think, uh, until at least I know where their attacks will uh, normally land before I assume that it's going to miss. Now there's health stones, and to uh, bring your health back up, they're usually around battle areas. More than once I forgot to recall my axe during a battle. Should we be in here? And it's not a problem because you can still attack with your shield or your fist, but it's not the same type of attack as we'll see later. This is kind of like a uh, puzzle chest. You have to find the uh, seals to unlock it. There were three glowing uh, runes on the chest. 
and that keeps it locked so you can't uh, pilfer it and so it's kind of like a defense mechanism. Once you get all the seals destroyed then you can open it up and you get something kind of cool. Now you get three of these apples and that will increase your health and it looks like there are nine apples total. So you can increase your health three times. As you get into the later game, I'm sure that'll be very important to make sure that you have the maximum amount of health that you can. Oh, here's this way. I can see more Once tracks. you've kind of mastered the combat, uh, you can always do kind of a you know challenge yourself by not getting the apples in one particular run and only have that small bar of health, which would be, I would assume, a challenge indeed. There's a lot of exploration. Uh, hack silver is a currency that you use later in the game. Probably not too much later in the game. I think you'll be introduced to it within a relatively short amount of time. Now when you look at the map, yes, you can look at the map uh, in the option screen. And you'll be able to see it's less of a linear uh, map and more of a uh, well, more of a large map where you can go and explore the different areas, and it's layered where it's not just one there. level. There's your you know the base level, and then you have things oh, that you climb up to Reason stairs that you go up. Boy. No excuses. Stairs that you go down you know, into crypts or whatever. Now this is one of the things that I kind of feel is a uh, quality of life improvement. Chests and doors, they no longer require tapping of the buttons in order to Can open. You just hit the button now? once and boom, Can it's open. It from here? I'm glad that someone took a hard look at it closer. and questioned it and said, why do we have the players doing this? Why are we acting like opening a door is a mini game? I went hunting with mother a bunch of times. Never wanted to I don't think there was necessarily anything wrong with tapping a button to open a, a door. But yes. after I got through a you know prolonged combat experience where I was already tapping buttons, I didn't want to be tapping buttons again just to open a door. And sometimes you had a uh, endless wave of enemies and the only way to get past it is to open the door so you had to beat down the enemies and then tap 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 to open the door and then get out before the door closed again so i kind of felt like it was a unnecessary mechanic and i for one am glad that they changed it more of the same. Once you've been fighting the same guys for a little bit, you can kind of get a sense of how and when they attack, and you kind of have an expectation for how they, how the battles are going to play out. When you just start off, it's going to be very, very difficult, I think. Well, not very difficult, but it will be a, a change. It will be a change of pace from old God of War titles to the current God of War title. And if your shield is not placed in front of you, if the guy is coming from more of the side, it doesn't have to be from the side directly, although that would certainly do the, the trick. Uh, if they're somewhat to the right side of you, uh, on an angle. I don't know exactly what angle it is, uh, but they will hit you instead of your shield. So you need to try to keep them uh, as much in the front of you as possible. 
sure you have your frame of view where you can see your other enemies. So if they start charging you, that you'll be ready to block them or evade. By this point, I was getting a little bit more in tune with how the Draugr attack and when the Draugr attack. So I was able to improve my timing and my battle skills a little bit. And it made combat a little bit more fluid. And also when you start, uh, you know, it's not like uh, previous ones where you had the chains of the blades of chaos where it was just like whap, 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 slam. And that was your main combo, like every time. Uh, as far as I know, there aren't combos per se. Uh, you'll kind of come up with your own combos based on the enemy and what works best versus them uh, if they're by themselves or in a group. We'll find out as we get a little bit of experience playing the game and playing uh, against the different types of enemies. Now this is kind of your first introduction into one of the uh, puzzles. He froze it in place. Clever. They do give you a hint how to solve it. Well, okay, a strong hint. Atreus, to me. They tell you to aim and, and fire. What? He can no longer use it. We can. But looking, just looking around, there is just so much to see. There's so much detail to look at that maybe, you know, some people or most people, I don't even know, may not even see it, but it's there. Nice. So you know that the, uh, you know, the programmers and the designers were really, really uh, fans of the franchise and committed to making this the best game that they can make. But as you explore, you're going to come up uh, against some different elements, something that maybe, you know, isn't going to be part of the tutorial. They say, oh, look at this. And... You throw your axe at it and it blows up and you get hurt in the process. So then you say, oh, okay, so now I know those flaming vases blow up. You say, oh, well, there's a flaming vase and maybe I'll throw my axe at it and blow it up and maybe I can get back there. Or maybe not. Now this hole started because Kratos wanted to be away from the whole burning pyre. Wait for I think it mark. reminded him too much of his Relax. life with his wife. So he told Atreus that he was going to go hunt Clear some deer. Steady your aim and, breathe in. and he wanted to see how Exhale much he actually knows about uh, hunting and survival. But I think mostly about patience. How patient is Atreus with learning? I... Here you can see, you know, Atreus and Kratos, and you kind of feel like there's a connection there. And Kratos kind of wants that connection, but he kind of wants to keep his distance because he doesn't want to be he doesn't want to be hurt, and he doesn't want Atreus to get hurt either. 
and people that are around Kratos don't stay to uh, don't tend to stay healthy for very long. Now this is your introduction to the boss fight or boss fights that you'll have. And I'll give you a little hint. The little glowing runes are important. And you'll see it a little bit later. Now this is still on challenge. So if you get hit on the harder difficulty levels and he hits you with that stone you're not going to be very happy about it. Now there is a health stone in the area but I believe there is only one so you have one extra shot if you get into trouble Now, depending on what attack you get hit with, you'll either lose a lot or a little bit. Because the first, uh, if he stomps you, it takes a little bit. If he whacks you the first time with the, uh, the pillar, you get hit pretty hard. If you get whacked when he slams it down, that takes the most amount of health. I was fighting here I kind of felt like um, if I tap the X one time that it would roll uh, and you have to double jump. so I mean there there's gonna be an adjustment period for any new game to get the control scheme kind of under under wraps and part of it is this uh, tutorial phase where you can kind of fight different guys and you can kind of start getting used to the control scheme and see what's possible and what's not possible. Now after I got taken out by this guy uh, a couple times actually, I went ahead and downgraded my difficulty so I didn't get killed as often because I thought well you know, since this is a whole new combat scheme, it's more of a tactical combat, I think I need a little bit more experience before I up the difficulty. So maybe later in this run, I will change it, or maybe on a different run I can change it to a harder difficulty. And after you finish the game, there is likely to be a hidden difficulty level should make it even harder if you're so inclined. So unlike uh, previous God of War titles where you just whap 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 slam or whap 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 invade and then whap 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 slam, this is much more tactical and you do have to hit those runes in order to uh, interrupt his attacks like this one and when they're flailing around it is more difficult to do so it's not like um, some titles where when you're doing a ranged attack that you all of a sudden have uh, time slow down and you can spend an extra second aiming. And of course you'll need your axe so you don't want to uh, forget to recall it. And there he changed up his attack. I was expecting a little bit of a window to do some damage and he threw in an extra slam. Now ranged attacks do some damage, but not very much. You have to kind of get in there and do some serious uh, attacks, either light attacks or heavy attacks, in order to really do some damage. 
Now there's time for a couple of light attacks or one heavy attack. If you are able to interrupt them, you might be able to get some more attacks in there depending on your distance from them. Once you get them down, finish them off. Just like the old Kratos you remember. So even though he's older, he's still there. And the boss fight's over. And Atreus says, it's not over till I say it's over. Boy, look at me. Look at me, boy. Boy, look at me. Now, presumably, this is Atreus' first real fight. I found the deer. I've proved myself. So, all in all, I think he did pretty well. We are going home. Uh, you know, being being the dad, Kratos says, "I haven't been sick mm, in a long no. time. I can do this." You are not ready. So anyway, the skill tree looks very deep. Uh, looks like it takes a while to get everything unlocked. There are lots of areas, maps to look at, upgrades, you name it. There's a whole bunch of stuff there that you can uh, go through and look at and do. It looks, like I said, it looks and sounds amazing. So if you have not checked it out, I would say it is definitely worth your time. If you have never played a God of War, this is certainly a good one to get into. And like I said, this is a lot different than other God of War titles. Anyway, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Still can't get the doors open, huh? Quiet. you something was different about the forest and I told you not to speak inside boy 